Hi everyone, how are you? Welcome to another video on the channel. Guys, this video is exciting. If you are the kind of person who likes to hear a story, a prophetic vision, a prophetic dream, and especially hear, my brothers, what this video is about is a rapture of the spirit to heaven. This is what happened to this sister that you are witnessing by my side, my brothers. This vision is very revealing because it will speak exclusively, my brothers, about the book of life, and you will hear a great story, my brothers, with rich, impressive details. My brothers, this video is going to be long, but it is a video, my brothers, that will keep you glued to the screen the whole time. I will summarize here, my brothers, quickly, what happened to her, because if I put the whole video here, it would be very long. I only put here the part where she had the vision of heaven and the book of life, and she will tell you about it here. Things that will make you emotional, my brothers, pay attention to this sister, this woman. She went to do Pilates and there at Pilates, my brothers, she felt sick and started to faint and the people at Pilates were forced to take her to the hospital and there at the hospital she went into a deep coma and from then on, my brothers, in a coma she began to have one of the most extraordinary visions of her life. I ask you to watch this video until the end because it is very moving. After this sister's vision, I will read from the Bible, my brothers, referring to texts that speak exclusively of the book of life. The book of life is real, it exists and the names of all the elect who will ascend in the rapture are written there. So, my brothers, don't miss this video because it is very moving. Okay my brothers, so without further ado, watch the story of this young woman who is very moving. Praise God, I am here to tell my testimony, the testimony of the book of life, the testimony that built my faith and transformed me into who I am today for the honor and glory of God. When I enter in coma, my spiritual eyes were opened and my vision was entering this clarity where I saw everything very clear, everything was clear as if I were walking on clouds and I started to look around, I said but where am I, everything was white, it was as if I was in the sky, like these cartoons we watch in TV floating in the sky I was walking on clouds, that's how I found myself in the height of the sky moving in the space, I turned and said but where am what is this place, then I started to scream who is there, is someone there where I am, and suddenly there at the corner I saw a pulpit, and I said finally I can see something here and I rushed to that pulpit, and when I got there it was a pulpit that only had room for one book that was there, and I turned and said let me see what book is this, it was a book with the edges like these cartoon books and I said wow what book is this, I took the book and opened it, I noticed that the book was really heavy and big, so it could take the height of my hand, when I opened the book it became light, yet it was heavy when I took it, the pages flipped, when I looked on the first page I saw it was written October 29th 79 comma this date was the day I was born October 29th 1979 and, I looked and said today was the day I was born and I started to read what was written there, I was reading the things that had happened in my childhood, and in this book on the pages that I started to read there were some 3D type images that floated on the book and whenever I looked at this 3D image I entered in the scene and began to experience event that happened to me during childhood, whenever I looked at the image, I entered the scene that I lived and there I went back to my childhood to experience my adolescence, thus I went back to various moments of my life, I was in front of the book of life reading the story of my life, and then I began to see that there were moment of my life when there came a light behind me. There was a huge light behind me and in that moment when the this light was by my side I did not notice this light that was the presence of God that came to speak to me, because I was living according to the wave of this world, then I heard in this hall a voice that said, here is the book of life, behold this is your story, and looking back I saw that there was no one but a presence was by my side. And I turned and said wow I am reading the book of life and I was watching 3D images of my life until a certain age. I noticed that this light that often appeared around me hadn't appeared after a certain age of my life, this light appeared like a flash that illuminated there in front, it was that whiteness as if I was in a cloud, the pulpit with the book of life and that gigantic light of the Holy Spirit of God behind me, and then the Lord began to speak to me, 
for it was the Lord who was behind me. The Lord began to speak to me, Look my daughter, the light that you are appearing in some period of your life on earth was my presence, I needed you there at that moment that is why I came to talk to you for I wanted to use you. It was then I remember that at that moment of my life after a certain age I began to have a reckoning with the Lord and the Lord began to speak to me every time he needed me, I didn't see but the Lord was speaking every time and I heard, and whenever I obeyed his will I had deliverance, the Lord spoke to me once in an event when he showed me the deliverance I had once when I was in a bar at a karaoke with a friend of mine and dresser, and I remember that we left after drinking that and we had gone home. And when I got into the car the Lord touched my heart and I cried out and said Lord, protect us, I am not worthy, I am not worthy of asking for protection but you are my father protect me, and the Lord showed me even though I was not worthy because I was drunk, the Lord gave me a deliverance because there was going to be an accident, where there would be deaths and I would be next to a person who would die and I would feel guilty that day. But the Lord for his honor and glory gave me this deliverance, and on that day in the book of life the Lord spoke to me of this deliverance like others that I don't remember, the Lord only gives me permission to remember what he allows me to tell in this testimony, but the Lord was dealing with me there in the book of life that I was reading, the Lord was telling me about deliverances, sometimes I heard his voice but ignore it when he needed me and sometime he spoke but I didn't hear everything because of the distraction and routine of life, everything was written there in the smallest details, I was in front of my book of life, the past the present and the future, I knew what happened, I know what's going on, then came a moment to look at my future, brothers, when I looked to check my future I realized that today was my last day on earth and that my life ended, everything was blank on the next page of the book of life, I said really this is the last day of my life, the last page of my book of life, oh Lord forgive me, forgive me. Then I said Lord now I'll know what the last day is right here, when I check the last page in the book of my life, there was an image that was a 3D image and I said I'm going to see what's happening, when I entered that image there was a lot of people who was there in my funeral and I knew all of them. I looked at my mother in one corner, I looked at my cousins in the other corner, and I looked at my son and I said Gabriel what are you doing there holding on to that coffin my son, I am here for you but he could not see me, my son cried a lot hugging and leaning on the coffin, I said son mom is here, when I looked at my corpse it was being, and I looked and said Lord but I'm the one being veiled, at that moment I thought I'm going to look at my son to see how old he is. And when I looked at my son my son I saw that my death has happened at the present period, I looked at the clothes I had just bought for my son this week, I said Lord I bought this clothes this week does it mean I am dead now, I won't live long it's over for me, and there I bent my knee and said Lord don't allow it, don't allow me to die, my son is already an orphan of a father, he will be an orphan of a mother, don't allow it Lord, and the Lord said to me, I will empower those who will take care of your son because your son is my son, and the Lord said, I needed you my daughter on earth to serve me, to speak of my work, I gave you gifts, I choose you, you had a gift that I gave you and I needed you on earth to save souls, to save my children and to testify, to use your gifts, but you didn't hear me, several times I called you you didn't hear, I kept saying Lord don't allow it. The Lord said I empower those who do my work but your story ends here, because I needed you and you didn't hear me, at that moment I felt that I would never see my children again, I loved the Lord, but I am not like the Lord, I don't have the love that the Lord has for us for me, it was at that moment that I made a purpose with God, that if the Lord allow me to return I would follow the path of Lord until the last day of my life, I would do your work, I would follow your path. I said Father who gave his only son for my life and for my salvation, allow me to come back, and I will do your work, I will speak of your name, I will do everything that you are asking of me, Lord, forgive me, make me come back with a new heart, I pray that way because I had a lot of hatred against a woman who I blamed for destroying my marriage, because I had a solid marriage, and I blamed her for destroying my marriage, so I had a hatred for her a hatred like that was from the adversary, you know my heart and can clean it, how could I go back to earth with all that hatred? I would continue to be the same old Evely, I still have the sin of the flesh, 
clean my heart because you know what is in my heart and free me from the sin of the flesh which is what keeps me on earth. Make me a new creature, the Lord turned around and that light gave an immense clarity as if pouring over me, cleansing everything in me that does not come from him, the Lord said, look, daughter, I need you so much there, look, I will give you three revelations that I need for you on earth and the Lord turned around and gave me three revelations during this period when I was making a purpose with God, and the Lord was dealing with me. The first revelation was for a teacher who still works with me, but we were not intimate. The adversary was going to enter her husband's life. The other revelation was for this girl, right? It was for the husband of this girl whom I had this hatred that no longer belongs to me, for the honor and glory of God, that I had to deliver to her husband and the third revelation was for a man who was a doctor who had been hospitalized for over a year. The Lord began to write the next chapter and event of my life, I said Lord let me see what you're going to write. I want to see what you're going to write on the next page, I saw a new page that he wrote in my life, the Lord turned and said, my only thing I ask you is that you talk about the book of life. Go down and talk about the book that you saw here the book of life exists and everyone has a story. Here's a story to tell. Each one has their own book of life. At that moment, I saw the book far away. The book was getting far away. I was getting far away. That light was taking over me and then, as soon as I opened my eyes there was a nurse by my side. I opened my eyes like that and the first thing I heard that nurse say was, glory to God. She woke up brothers when I heard that glory to God she rang the bell, I saw that there were already several people with me, 